The release of figures at the end of the year on health statistics is not a practice by the Ministry of Health. But in the Central Health Region Bulletin dated December 2015, some figures were released looking at various health aspects ranging from obesity to communicable diseases and infant mortality. The statistics coming out is a new undertaking according to the primary health care coordinator for the Central Region, Dr. Javier Zuniga and is now being planned as an annual exercise. These figures released are only for the first 10 months of 2015 and is limited to only the Central Health Region, meaning the Belize District. What was alarming in the figures was the 80% increase in infant mortality, which according to Dr. Zuniga, can be attributed to several factors. The infant mortality we have seen in the past for the first 10 months of the year and a rise in infant mortality. I think we, it is from 16 to 29 cases. This represents approximately 80% increase. When this occurs, it now becomes a public health issue, and uh, which means that we need to act on this to try to decrease the rate. The rate is 19.8 per every thousand live births, which is approximately 20 babies die for every 1,000 that that are born. In the case of communicable diseases, if we look at vaginitis, that could be one of the causes of prematurity. And um, the reason being that it is so close to the amniotic sac, to the womb, where the, the fetus is located. And it can lead to um, infections of the amniotic sac. And then this can lead to pre-rupture membranes that then lead to um, premature delivery. And when we speak about premature delivery, we're speaking about children born before 37 weeks of gestation. So they are not fully term. Most of these children are also underweight. So it is difficult. It's a very difficult uh, situation in which the survival rate is very low. When it comes to the non-communicable diseases, Dr. Zuniga spoke of the top five diseases affecting Belizeans, although we do have some common ground with other countries around the world. The top non-communicable communicable diseases, we have um, hypertension being one of the diagnoses mostly seen in the chronic illnesses in the population in Belize district. This is followed by chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, primarily asthma then cardiovascular, which includes other heart conditions, such as probably heart failure or patients who suffer from congestive heart failure, pulmonary edema, uh, et cetera. Um, then we have diabetes, which we all know uh, can cause severe complications, and cerebrovascular diseases, which basically are um, strokes that can also occur. As it relates to communicable diseases, it's seen that there is major room for improvements on the angle of personal hygiene as vaginitis and gastroenteritis have made on the top five list. The data here is representative of those infectious diseases, which means those that are uh, transmissible, which means from person to person. As in all developing countries, the two top communicable diseases include respiratory infections, and gastroenteritis. Those are the two top, and that is for most developing countries. Um, but uh, alarmingly for us, we have conjunctivitis, and this is because we had an increase in incidence or cases in the first six months of the year, and then that, f that was followed by a decrease. The other is vaginitis, which is basically the infection of the female genital tract. The last is KBs, which is a parasitic infection, and um, this is primarily seen in patients who practice poor hygiene measures. These latest figures have been gathered using the Belize Health Information Systems, an electronic system that is present in almost all public health facilities and is the main source for the data collected, while the figures on infant mortality is backed up by the information gotten from Vital Statistics Unit. 
while these current figures are based solely on those who seek medical attention at the public medical facilities. Dr. Zuniga says there is another report that reflects the combined statistics of public and private health facilities. The data that we collect will be specified up to a certain date. In this case, for this bulletin, it was up till October 2015. The data that we collect is primarily from the BHIS, Belize Health Information System, and it is strictly for Belize District and the Keys. It is not a national data. That national data is collected by the Epidemiological Unit at the Ministry of Health. We have our own Epidemiological Unit, which collects data for Central Health Region only. This data is collected monthly, and uh, it is then analyzed by our epidemiologist, who does a report every two months at our surveillance committee meeting. And um, the data represents uh, basically major health issues that are affecting our community at this point in time. This is an electronic file system, uh, which is a national uh, health information system. It is used in all public, almost all public health facilities, not at the private facilities. The data for mortality is gotten from uh, KHMH, directly from the death certificates of patients. We do not collect data in this report from private health facilities. So these numbers may not be an actual reflection we, we are actually about 80% of the population of the Belize District, which is actually a represent, majority representation of the population. So are there any plans in terms of incorporating both public and private facilities? That is data? done annually, and uh, we sometimes collect that data at the end of the year and then also do a, a report on it. But the um, epidemiological unit at the Ministry of Health also collects that data. So private health facilities do send information to them, and that is compiled at the end of the year. According to the statistics, one in every 10 persons in the Belize district is overweight or obese, while a figure of 7.4% was cited as being underweight. The obesity study, this, as I said, we, had a, we have a research team at Central Health Region, and we decided that we would look at obesity because it is one of the major risk factors for non-communicable diseases. The deadly quartet, which includes obesity, hypertension, high lipids, and diabetes. And all these then lead to what we call a metabolic syndrome. And that metabolic syndrome basically starts affecting major organs. So the retina of the eye, it affects the brain, the heart, the kidney, and it leads to complications. Um, and, non of course, the chronic non-communicable diseases. Dr. Zuniga stressed the importance of women taking a pregnancy test as soon as they miss a period, and if they find out that they are pregnant, they are urged to seek medical care early in order to have the baby born in excellent health, and thus reducing the rate of infant mortality. Of the infant's death recorded from January to October 2015, 10 of them were between the ages of 0 to 6 days, 9 of them were between 7 and 27 days, and 10 of them were between 28 days and 11 months. Dr. Zuniga also asked that we remind Belizeans that family planning services are free